Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com hourly analysis for the S&P 500 for Thursday, March the 24th, 2011. Well, the market opened with a candle that made a, another higher high and higher low. It was a red-bodied candle and not a very bullish candle. It had a large shadow on the top of a red body which denoted downside price rejection, as, and that was as the market was interacting with this previous resistance level at roughly 13.05. The next hour of trading, however, we had an extremely bullish candle that set the tone for the market for the whole day, and that very bullish large red-bodied candle actually took out that area of resistance around 13.05. The market continued to rally in the next few hours of trading and found resistance around the next level of that 13.09 uh, bearish candle. Uh, didn't change the trend, however. And the next two candles actually found support back down at the 13.05 region where we re previously found uh, resistance. Bounced off there in the t two uh, final hours of trading to close above the resistance at 13.09 and test resistance at 13.12. We can see the shadow on the top of that candle and that denotes some selling coming in, the buyers losing some commitment. Now even though it's a, a you know, green body candle, that uh, tells us that the buyers made net bullish progress in that final hour. The buyers, however, failed to close that hour of trading and control, so that could be important for the market for the next uh, trading day. Now importantly, however, we did close above this zone of resistance that we highlighted previously with this yellow colour. And that's a good bullish sign that we've done that. Uh, the only problem is though it hasn't been a terribly bullish close above there. The candle that closed above there was um, rather indecisive in terms of who closed in control. So neither the bulls nor the bears closed in control and the uh, buyers lost some commitment. Obviously above there, there's good resistance around 13.12 up to 13.16 and all the way up to around 13.25. So some good solid resistance on the way up for this market. That doesn't mean that the market won't test these areas and trade above them because we've seen the market uh, acting in quite a bullish manner. Certainly not with some strong looking candles, but, but taking out these areas of resistance on the upside. So that's a good sign if the market's doing that. Now in Ichimoku charts terms, we are trading above the cloud, so the market retains its overall positive bias after we had the bullish breakout and a bullish signal to go long down around the 12.90 region. The market's also trading up above the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen, which means that the market's bullish in the medium term and long term timeframes, and uh, the bullishness is confirmed by the Tenkan Sen trading up above the Kijun Sen. We also have the Chikou Span over here trading up above the corresponding price action which means that the market uh, is uh, it confirms the bullish um, picture that we've got in this market now uh, for the next day's trading if we do open up lower then obviously we have good support levels down below certainly the area around 1305 is important but then the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen will offer themselves as areas of support as well and they're trading down around that 1300 area the 1300 level will be uh, once again a big number for this market and we know that that could turn into an area of support if the market does come off. But the market is looking fairly bullish at the moment, uh, certainly not appreciating on um, extremely bullish candles but the market has been trending up in the second time frame and taking out resistance levels and there is a good probability that we will trade up and test some of these higher levels.